Hi guys, so Longleat Safari Park is one of the best things we've done as a family for years. It's quite unique as it blends together a safari park with an amusement park and a little bit of English history thrown in there as well. So we wanted to put this video together that illustrates all the best bits and what not to miss during a visit there. Those of you that don't know us, we're planes, trains and buggies. We're a little obsessed about travel and we regularly upload videos to this channel to give you guys inspiration for your next getaway. So as ever, if you like what we do, like our videos, feel free to leave comments and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's start with the safari, as that's pretty much the main attraction of the entire park. Most of you will use your own cars to get around each area, but it is worth remembering that Longleat do provide their own bus service, so you can use those if you prefer. You start off at the African village, which is your last chance to get some refreshments and pop to the toilet, because be warned there are no stops after this point. Within the African village you'll also find the lemur walk, which is a cute little enclosure where you can walk along a path surrounded by beautiful lemurs, which will take about 10 minutes to complete. The safari is massive and it will generally take between two and three hours to get around. I did that cliche bloke reaction of thinking, it won't take two or three hours. It really does take that long to get around, especially if it's quite busy. Now you'll start off in the monkey enclosure where millions of monkeys will converge in your car, much to our kids' delight, and then you'll move into other areas that house lots of different types of animals until you end up in the cat enclosure. But enough from me, roll VT. So as I said at the start, Longleat isn't just a safari park, it's an amusement park as well. And during your visit, you can download the handy app and it will run through each attraction and what to expect from each. But here's a quick run through of each one. There's various eateries so you won't go hungry. As we've already mentioned, you've got the watering hole up by the African village at the start of the safari, but within Nongli itself, you've got various restaurants and cafes scattered around the park. You've got the picnic basket, you've got pizza piazza, and the main restaurant, the Chameleon Tree, which is huge and serves a good selection of hot and cold food, including some great vegan options. So one of the best times of year to visit the park is during their Festival of Light event. It runs from November to early January, it's obviously very Christmassy and Longleat House, which is their 400 year old stately home that sits in the middle of the park, looks beautiful and well worth going inside and seeing all the decorations. At around 4 p.m. the dancing Christmas tree kicks off the evening and you're then free to wander around and take in all the amazing light sculptures that light up the park.
naturally check online for any seasonal discounts, but expect to pay around £34 for an adult, £25 for a child between 3 and 14, and under 3s are free. So we had a great time at Longleat, and it was probably one of the most family-friendly things we've ever done with the kids. We spent a good eight hours there, and even then we probably didn't get to see everything the park could offer. So when you consider what you get for the money, it's really good value. I hope you found that guide useful. We're slowly building up a number of these guides and reviews now on our channel, so feel free to subscribe so you don't lose us. And if you do have some time, why not watch another one?